Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Let's Talk Shop. My name is Debbie Demartini, Certified Clinical Thermographer at Thermal Body Scan in Santa Cruz. Um, I'm going to talk about breast thermography today. I get a lot of questions. Um, one of the biggest is what is the difference between something like your typical mammogram and thermography for the breast. Um, first of all, what I always want to start with is that they are two different types of tests. Uh, whether you're having a mammogram, an ultrasound, an MRI, an x-ray, those are all tests of anatomy. So what that means is those are looking into your body to try to locate and measure structure. Uh, for breasts, obviously they're looking for a lump. With thermography, it is a test of metabolic process and physiological function. Uh, in English, what that means is it's a test of activity. What kind of activity are we seeing in the breast tissue? Um, activity meaning things like inflammatory response, developing blood supply in particular with breast cancers. Um, and the reason that I want to point that out is it, it, it is a crucial difference in how you um, get your results because we can tell the difference between uh, things like fibrocystic breast disease, a developing breast cancer, cysts, mastitis, and just normal dense fibrous breast tissue. The problem with mammography is that a lump is a lump is a lump is a lump. Uh, if you get flagged for having a breast lump, then the next step usually is to go have an ultrasound. Uh, if there still seems to be some questionable uh, tissue in there, then they refer you for biopsy. So you get a lot of women who maybe they just have fibrocystic breast disease, maybe they just have dense fibrous breast tissue. Um, and what we see is a lot of overtreatment and unfortunately fear that accompanies that when you get flagged for having a breast lump. Uh, with thermography, a developing breast cancer will have a very distinct pattern of vascular supply that's feeding that tumor. Uh, things like inflammatory breast cancers will show up very red and hot on a thermal image. However, they do not show up on mammography. Um, and we can tell the difference between things like just scar tissue or uh, fibrous dense breast tissue because they all have a different heat signature. Um, they're hotter or colder than the other thing. So, so what that does is it allows us to alleviate the need for unnecessary biopsy and also over treatment. Uh, a lot of cases, there's a lot of studies, as a matter of fact, University um, of San Francisco has done some recent studies that if now they're finding stage zero and one DCIS, which is the most common type of breast cancer, that that may be just an incidental finding, that they find these little calcifications in the breast and they may test positive for cancerous cells, but those may just remain dormant in your body forever, for your whole life. They may never actually develop into a full-blown cancer or situation that you need to treat. Um, thermography, again, steps up to the plate because we can tell if there's activity and ultimately that's what you need to know. You have calcifications, great. Are they doing anything? If they're not, if they're just dormant in there, then you don't need to worry. You don't need to go through unnecessary biopsy treatment um, to take care of those things. So I urge you to find out a little bit more. Uh, I certainly welcome questions. Check out my website at www.thermalsc.com and certainly give me a call if you have any questions. 831-420-7390. Thanks for joining me for this week's edition of Let's Talk Shop and I'll see you again soon. Thanks.